Chess has always been considered an ideal game for a computer. It has the logic to make all the right moves, is completely unbiased, does not mind waiting while you think for hours on end, and is always willing to tell you what your best move is. Not quite the case in Battle Chess. Until I loaded this game, I hadn't played chess for years, and I must say that this is a great way to get back into the game. I reckon that even non-chess players will manage to get involved due to the incredible entertainment factor this game possesses. The 3D graphics are awesome, and the graphics really come into their own in the animated battle sequences. Some of them are really funny, if a little gory. Even hardened chess players will find a great deal of challenge, as there are a lot of progressively harder levels to battle through. Much of Battle Chess's fun, in fact, comes from wondering how one piece will destroy another. To find out, I spent the early games sacrificing everything from knight to queen, just to see the battle sequences. Even so, I still have no idea how a pawn might destroy a king. It changes the standard chess terminology of Pawn Takes Knight to Pawn Takes Knight by kicking him hard in the groin. You see, every time you make a move, the piece currently under control comes to life and walks to the chosen destination square. The knights with their jump to square moves simply barge everyone out of the way in an effort to get to where they want to go. The queen glides, bottom waggling sumptuously. And the rooks transform from small castles into large rock giants, who stomp to their square and transform back. The pawn kicks the knight in the family jewels to stop him galloping. The knight freezes, drops his shield, turns the face out of the screen with his hands on the afflicted area, mourns and collapses stiffly. The king's attacks are the best, however. For example, he pulls a gun on the bishops, gives a bomb to the knights and hits the pawns with a set of nunchakers, all accompanied by some great sound effects. It is precisely the animated combat sequences that makes the game so appealing. The difference between computer chess and face-to-face -face chess has always been the ability of a human player to play against the computer. But besides that, the game suffers as a result of computerization. Gone is the physical feel of the pieces, the pure three-dimensionality of the board, the variety of available pieces and, of course, the human interaction. Even in programs like Chessmaster 2000, which takes into account three-dimensionality and different perspectives on the board, the real chess playing experience is partially lost. Sooner or later, of course, you are going to get tired of all these nice graphics. What are you left with then? Fortunately, an excellent chess game with 10 skill levels, enough to challenge any grandmaster. As far as play goes, Battle Chess gives me a good battle at even its lowest levels, which admittedly isn't a major feat. The manual teaches the rules of chess and it explains chess notion, which is a nice touch if you're just getting into the game or have never played before. I'll attach the manual I found online in the video description, which will give you a decent start for those wanting to give this a whirl. If you like chess, or even just like being entertained, then Battle Chess is definitely for you. But you don't have to agree with me, of course. What did you think of this game? Were you a lover or a hater? Hit the like button and let me know in the comments section. A massive thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoy all things Commodore, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we continue this retro journey to relive some nostalgic moments we shared through our gaming days. There's more to come, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, thanks again, and bye for now.
Bye for now. How about a nice game of chess?